Whoa, we have square root of x, and inside we have cube root of x, and we have fourth root, fifth root of x, and in fact, we have infinitely many of them. That's what this dot 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 is telling us. How can we even start evaluating this thing that goes on infinitely? Whew. Well, this seems hard to evaluate. So why don't we start by taking a look at more finite case, more simplified case. So why don't we take a look at the case where we do not have any of these, when we just have integral of square root of x dx. Now that's extremely easy to evaluate. That's integral of x to the 1 half dx, which is simply you add 1 to the exponent. So x to the 3 halves over the 3 halves plus c. So that's extremely easy. So now let's try going one more step. Now let's get rid of this 4th root of x, 5th root of x, and try to evaluate integral of square root of x, cube root of x, dx. How can we evaluate this thing? Well, we know if we can write the integral as x to the nth power dx, like we did with square root of x, it's over because we know integral of x to the nth is simply x to the n plus 1 over n plus 1 plus c. So the question I'm asking you is, is it possible to write this thing as x to the nth power? And the answer is yes. We can start by splitting, we can start by distributing this square root to x and cube root of x. So we can simply have square root of x and square root of cube root of x dx. And we know square root of x is x to the 1 half. And for this one, we have square root of x and cube root of x. So we have x, x to the 1 half and 1 third power, 1 half for square root, 1 third per, for cube root dx. And now we can simplify this as x to the nth power dx and evaluate this integral. Now, examining a more simplified case is giving us an idea of how to approach this much more complex general case. Because we now know that we can simply distribute the square root, then cube root, then fourth root, and so on to break this into x to the some power, x to the some power, the product of x to the some powers, and multiply them out to get x to the nth power and evaluate the integral. So now we know how to approach this question. We can start by breaking up the square root of x to x and this part. So we can have square root of x and square root of cube root of x times fourth root of x, fifth root of x, and so on, dx. Now we can break apart cube root of x to x and this crazy extended part, which is going to get us square root of x, square root of cube root of x, and we have square root of cube root of fourth root of x, fifth root of x, and so on, dx, and let's just do it one more time. This time we can break apart the fourth root of x, distribute the fourth root of x to x and this extension. So we have square root of x, square root of cube root of x, square root of cube root of fourth root of x, and square root of cube root of fourth root of fifth root of x, and so on, dx. And now, how can we simplify this? Well, we have x to the 1 half power, that's square root of x, and we have x to the square root of x and cube root of x, so that's x to the 1 half times 1 third power, and we have x to the square root of x, cube root of x, fourth root of x, then we have x to the square root of x, cube root of x, fourth root of x, then fifth root of x, and so on, dx. Now, what is this going to be? We have integral of x, and now we are going to add up the powers. 1 over 2 plus 1 over 2 times 3 plus 1 over 2 times 3 times 4 plus 1 over 2 times 3 times 4 times 5 and plus so on dx. And do you recognize this? Can we simplify the exponent to get some constant? And you may recognize this. Let me try writing down one more step. Now let me just write 1 times 1 times, 1 times, 1 times, so it's easier to see that we have factorial going on. So we have x to the 1 over 2 factorial 
plus 1 over 3 factorial, plus 1 over 4 factorial, plus 1 over 5 factorial, and so on, dx. Do you recognize this? Do you think this thing is similar to anything you have learned in Calculus 2? Well, we are summing up the reciprocal of factorials, and you may think of E, because one of the definitions of E, using the Taylor series of E to the X, is 1 plus 1 over 1 factorial, plus 1 over 2 factorial, plus 1 over 3 factorial, plus 1 over 4 factorial, and so on. And we have something extremely similar to that. In fact, we have everything on starting 1 over 2 factorial. That's the value that we're looking for. So we know this thing is x to the e, and we don't care about this 1 plus 1 part, so we gotta take away 2. So we have x to the e minus 2 power dx, and how do you and how do you integrate x to the nth power dx? Well, that's x to the n plus 1 over n plus 1 plus c. So we are simply going to add 1 to e minus 2 to get e minus 1, divide by the same thing, and put plus c, and we're done. So the answer to this pretty, pretty crazy question with square root, cube root, fourth root, and so on, is x to the e minus 1 over e minus 1 plus c.